welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply come over here click on this checkbox click on agree and continue just wait for a second and click on activate cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and click on continue now i will request you please use the online notepad do not use your personal notepad for this lab now just simply come on the task number one copy this first command click on this got it let me just increase the text size for you and click on and run the first command over here now copy the second command run over here then copy this third command and just wait for this command get execute meanwhile just simply scroll down no need to run this vault command just simply scroll down so we have to just create one file so just copy this command And it's done now run this touch command okay so file is created now click on this open in new window wait for a second click on this open editor and just close this terminal okay click on this open new window if you want you can just close this tab like this wait for a second click on this open folder and click on open and here you can see the file which you just created now what we have to do just copy this content of a file and here you can see config.hcl just open that file and paste over here then click on this files and click on save so you have done with this task scroll down a little bit copy this command go back to your dashboard click on this reconnect and run the command over here then copy this command and run over here so you have done with this command and once you run this command this command is going to run forever so what you have to do just simply click on plus icon and open a new tab now scroll down copy this command and run over here like this now this is a very important command so just copy this command and run over here and once you execute this command you are going to get some keys and one root token please pay attention and here you can see this is the thing i'm talking about so just copy this thing carefully go back to your notepad and paste over here like this now what you have to do just simply scroll down till this task copy this command run over here now it's asking for the key so just come back over here copy this first key and run over here now again what we have to do again rerun this same command copy this command and run again now this time we have to use the second key like this copy the second key and paste now again do the same thing copy the same command and run this and here we have to use the third key and when we use the third key let's see what we output get once we run this key this time we have get the raft commit index and raft applied index once you get this output just go back to lab instructions scroll down and now copy this command go back to your notepad and here just simply paste this command and then copy this token root token and make the changes carefully now copy this command and run over here like this okay now again go back to live instructions come on the task number two scroll down copy this command and run over here and if you have done all the tasks previously tasked correctly you will get success message otherwise you will get an unnecessary error over here okay so we have done with the task number one and task number two now for the task number three please pay attention just simply search for the iam open this thing new tab okay come back over here then click on the service account and if it's asked for the project id just simply click on your project id wait for a second and here then click on this project id at the project id iam g service account then click on this key then click on this add key and then click on this create new key okay and click on create one key will download to your local system automatically now i request you please pay attention for this task because many of you guys going to face issue over here now please watch i am what i am doing first of all come back to your terminal click on this three dot click on this upload choose file and just upload that file which you just download this json dot file just upload it click on upload just wait and it's uploaded now please pay attention first of all just type ls 
and once you type ls you will get this file name. so just copy this file name go back to your notepad now we don't need of the, all these things so just remove it and paste your json file now what you have to do just type pwd pwd and you will get this path so just copy this path carefully like this okay go back to notepad paste over here now after this path just type forward slash then copy your file name and paste over here i hope you got my point what i have done over here now what you have to do just simply scroll down if you want just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now just simply come on the task number four copy this command go back to your notepad paste over here and now here please pay attention copy first of all just copy this path and from this till select over here like this remove this and paste over here i hope you got my point what i had done and after json there must be one extra space like this and now just copy this command and if you configure this command correctly you won't get the error for sure you will get success message like this okay now just simply scroll down till this task now we have to again create one file so just copy that paste over here and once you're done with this now copy this content go back to your editor and here you can see binding.scl just open this file paste over here we need a bucket name so for that we are going to use project id so just make the changes like this now just simply click on this file and click on save so we are done with this task as well now again scroll down now here please pay attention from here lab get little bit tricky okay so just copy this go back to your notepad remove all this previous content now paste over here now what we have to change we have to just change the project id so just copy this command make the changes over here like this then copy all this command and if you copy the configure the command correctly once you run the command over here you will get a success message just wait and as you can see we got a success message that's mean we are done with this command okay now if i just simply click on the check my progress i will not get a score because lab take time to update the score so meanwhile just simply scroll down now here this is very important command okay please pay attention copy this command run over here once you run this command you will get this token now please copy this token very carefully copy from here till here okay this is a very important token okay just copy this go back to your notepad and replace over here so this is a token now please pay attention guys okay now what you have to do just simply scroll down copy this command go back to your notepad paste the command over here first of all just do the same copy your project id and make the changes over here like this okay now please pay attention copy all this token make sure you do not copy in extra space make sure of that copy this token and here from this less than sign till this greater than sign just select that path and replace with your token now copy all this command at a time copy all this command and run over here and if you configure the command correctly you will get this kind of output otherwise you will get an error so i request you please copy the token correctly and configure the command okay so we have done with this now again go back to your lab instructions so we have done with this command scroll down copy this command go back to your notepad now remove this command and add this command again go back to lab instruction copy your project id come back to notepad and here you can see just bucket name just make the changes carefully like this now again copy this token and here you can see just select from here till here like this now copy all this command carefully and again i'm saying if you make a changes and if you make a, any mistake while editing this file you won't get a, this kind of output you will get error so just make sure you are doing the thing correctly so we are done with this now for just for cross verification just copy this and run over here you will get hello world output now we are done with this now just copy this come back to over here now we don't need this token so remove all this thing paste over here this this command now what you have to do we have to just change the project id so just copy this command make the changes over here like this then copy this command and run over here and once this command is executed you will get a success message okay again scroll down 
now copy this command turn over here now again scroll down just wait for this command get execute it's done if you just simply click on check my progress you won't get a score no need to worry about that lab take a time to update a score meanwhile just simply come on the last task of this lab so what you have to do just simply go back to your iam click on the service account and again just wait and if you just refresh the page let me just show you if i just refresh the page i will see multiple service account as you can see but we have to click on this previous service account which we just click okay just click over here now we have to just copy this email id just copy this email id very carefully okay come back over here remove all this stuff copy this thing paste over here now copy this command go back to your notepad and paste over here like this now you are copy your service account okay please pay attention remove this thing and paste your key like this make sure there is no extra space like this your command must look like this if it's so just copy this command go back to your dashboard and run the command over here you will get a success method if you just configure the command correctly otherwise you will get an error okay now again go back to your lab instruction and this is the last command copy this come back over here make the changes again copy your service account make the changes like this then copy this command and paste over here once this command is executed you will get a score on last task without any issue just wait and if i just come back over here and click on this check my progress i will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day as you can see i got a 100 out of 100 thanks for watching and have a good day